Hey everyone, so here I'm doing a important questions for menstruation chapter. So I'm doing only four questions here, otherwise the video will be really lengthy. So these four questions are really important and they are four mark type of questions. So let's start with the first one. So the first question here is, a copper wire of a length 44 cm is to be bent into a square and a circle which will have a larger area. So we have a wire which is of a length 44 cm. Let us take the wire is of 44 cm. Now this has been turned into a shape of square and in shape of circle. We have to find out which one has a larger area. Now if you observe here, the same wire which is of 44 cm is made into a square means this will be this uh, perimeter of square will be 44 centimeter because I have we we have used the wire of length 44 centimeter and bent so perimeter of square will be 44 similarly here for the circle also the same wire we have bent into a circle right means the circumference of circle will be again 44 centimeter so using this we're gonna find out the area of the square and circle and we'll see which one has a larger area Alright, so from here we just came to know what is a perimeter of square and circumference. Let's start solving this. So, first, let us find out what is a side. So, let me write down here. So, here, perimeter of square will be equal to 44 centimeter. Yes then side will be equal to we know that all sides are same in square so each side or one side will be nothing but 44 upon 4 okay or you can just use a perimeter formula and you can get it out anyway you get the same answer so cancel it so 4 ones and 4 elevens are so answer will be 11 centimeter so from here i can able to find out the area so area will be equal to side into side which is equal to 11 into 11 which is nothing but 121 so we'll get here 121 centimeter square so this is a case of square now let us do for the other one which is circle okay so here in the circle the circumference will be remain same circumference is nothing but 44 centimeter so let me write down here so circumference will be equal to circumference is equal to 44 centimeter but we know circumference is nothing but 2 pi r yes so 2 pi r is equal to 44 centimeter or just write down 44 i want to find the value of r from here so r will be equal to 44 i'm going to transpose this 2 pi to the other side okay so it will become 44 upon 2 pi so i'm not substituting the value of pi here i'll tell you why now from we got the radius is 44 upon 2 pi we are going to find out the area so area formula area of circle is nothing but pi r square substitute there so pi r square this is nothing but pi into radius we got is 44 upon 2 pi it's a r square right so again i have to write down 44 upon 2 pi now you can cancel this so one pi will get cancelled that is why i have not substituted the value here you can cancel 2 and 44 2 ones are 220 2 twos are again 2 ones are and then 2 11 are now here what i got is i got 11 into 44 upon pi so pi value i'm going to substitute here is 22 upon 7 so 22 upon 7 you can cancel 22 and 44 or anything so 11 ones are 11 twos are then 2 ones are then 2 20 twos are now this 7 which is there in division when i take it it become reciprocal it comes in numerator i'll get here 22 multiplied by 7 okay so this is equal to when you multiply i get 154 centimeter square so if you observe here they're asking which one has a larger area 
so for square we got 121 cm for circle we got 144 cm this means circle has larger area so you can conclude here therefore circle will have larger area so this is our first question now we're going to move on to the second one now in the second question what they asking they saying that the length and the breadth of a rectangle are in the ratio 4 is to 3 if its perimeter is 154 cm find its length and breadth that is a question so here length of the rectangle and uh, breadth of the rectangle they have given in the ratio 4 is to 3 so whenever the ratios are given we're going to assume a variable like a x or y anything so length will become 4x breadth will become 3x so let me write down that so length will be equal to 4x okay and breadth will be equal to 3x so whenever ratios are given we'll take uh, a variable and we write down in this way because the ratios are always given in reduced form that's why okay so we got length and breadth uh, 4x and 3x and they are also given that perimeter is 154 cm so let's write down what is perimeter formula so perimeter of rectangle i'm just starting perimeter here it's a perimeter of rectangle so perimeter is equal to 2 into l plus b yeah but in the question they have given perimeter is 154 i'll substitute here it's 154 is equal to 2 into how much we got length length is 4x substitute here 4x plus breadth is also given it's a 3x substitute here okay now it's like a linear equation we have to get the value of x first so 154 is equal to 2 into 4x plus 3x is 7x write down 7x now this 2 is in multiplication with 7x so multiply it we'll get 14x so 154 is equal to 14x we want only x value we don't want this 14 here so 14 is in multiplication with x when you transpose it to other side it comes in division So one fifty four upon fourteen is equal to x. So you can cancel this. Uh, you can cancel this in a fourteen table itself. Fourteen ones are so here fifteen is there. I'm going to cancel fifteen. I get fourteen ones are fourteen. One is left out. That makes fourteen again. Fourteen ones are fourteen. You'll get eleven here answer. Or else you can just divide and get the answer. Or you can cancel this in different table. At end you will get the same answer eleven. So we got therefore x is equal to eleven uh, centimeter. Now they are asking find the length and breadth. We know that length is four x, right? Substitute there. So length will be length is equal to four x, which is nothing but four into eleven. We'll get forty four centimeter. Similarly, we're gonna get the value of breadth. So breadth is equal to three x. So three x is equal to three into eleven, which is nothing but thirty three centimeter. That's it. So with this, we are done with second question. Also, we'll go and move on to the next one. Okay, going to third question. Uh, if the side of a square is double, then how much time its area become? So in this question, if you see, they have not given any value. They just said that if the side is double or it become double, then how the area will be? How much area will increase? So here the side is not given. So let us assume that side is equal to x centimeter. It's assumption here. So let me write down here. Let Let the side be is equal to x centimeter. In that case, area will be nothing but area is side square. This is a formula, but we have taken side is equal to x centimeter. Substitute there. So x centimeter square is equal to x square centimeter. We got it. So 
if the normal side is x centimeter we got area as x square centimeter now what we're going to do we're going to double the side if side is double means i'll just write down that is nothing but uh, 2x okay double twice of x is nothing but 2 so 2x centimeter then what will be the area so area will be equal to it's a side square the formula is side right side square side square is equal to 2x square which is equal to 4 x square centimeter so here if you observe we have taken x as a side we got the area as x square if the side is double which is 2x then area will become 4x square now we have to compare this area and this area comparison means we're going to take a ratio here so ratio is equal to it's a x square is to 4x square okay so x square and x square will get cancelled will get 1 is to 4 or in general you can say that it is x square and here it's a 4x square so it's a 4 times more so the area will become 4 times that will be the conclusion here so let me conclude therefore the area the area would be or the area would become would become four times okay you don't have to find the ratio this is just for the comparison i have written here or you can just look into this it's x square it is four x square you can say that area has become four times more that's it so this is the third question let's move to the next question which is the last question so the question here is the area of a rectangle and a square are equal so they have given that area of rectangle and square are equal if the length of the rectangle is 16 centimeter and breadth is 9 centimeter find the area of the square so for the rectangle they have given the dimension that is length and breadth they have given and they have not given anything for the square we have to find out the side of the square they have given one more relation saying that area of rectangle and square are equal so let me write down what we know so in the question we have given area of rectangle so area of area of rectangle is equal to area of square yeah so we'll just substitute the formula area of rectangle formula is nothing but length into breadth so length into breadth is equal to area of square is nothing but side into side or you can just simply write side square yeah now we'll substitute the values here length they have given is 16 centimeter so 16 into breadth they have given is 9 so 9 is equal to we don't know what is size so just write down side square so 16 9 size is nothing but 144 we'll get here 144 you can write down centimeter square so in that case you have to put centimeter here also is equal to side square now here i want only the value of side i don't want the squ side square so if you remove the square here we'll get square root so square root of 144 centimeter square is equal to side okay we know that 144 is a perfect square square root of 144 is nothing but 12 so from here we can say side is equal to 12 centimeter that's it so side of square is nothing but 12 centimeter so that's it we have done with all the four questions they are important question it, these questions are asked usually for three or four marks i hope it's clear in case you have any questions or doubt or if you have a specific questions you can just put it down in the comment thank you so much for watching